Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we're coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video today. And today we're going to talk about the uh, a thing called AVR. It's Application Visibility and Reporting. And so, what AVR does is you can imagine. Let's say you got your say you got your big IP out there, or maybe you have a bunch of them. But I'll just I'll draw a big IP out here. Maybe you maybe you have a couple of these things, or maybe you have a bunch of them. Whatever. And so you got your big IP, and man, the big IP does all kinds of stuff. It's, uh, you know, you got virtual servers set up and pool members and all kinds of different things. And it's, and it's just doing all kinds of great stuff for you. And so what, what the application visibility and reporting, um, just kind of the, the heart of it all, is to let you see what's going on inside this amazing system, the big IP. And so... Uh, so anyway, so you can collect a lot of different statistics and a lot of different metrics and, and all these types of things that you may want to know about from the Big IP. And so I wanted to go over a few things today on, um, on, on what you can do and how you can kind of set that up. And ultimately, you really want to analyze the performance of your web applications as the Big IP handles all that stuff. And so, uh, so anyway, so how do you do it all and, and how does it all work and all that stuff? So we're going to talk about that today. So, uh, so what you do, um, like in a lot of other things on the Big IP, you set up a profile for how the uh, statistics and how the, the metrics and all that are going to be collected. And so you, uh, you navigate over to, I'll just write it up here, local traffic. Once you're in your Big IP, you go to local traffic, and then you go to profiles, and then profiles, and then you go over to uh, analytics. So analytics. Alrighty, once you've got the profiles, analytics, now you're on that page. And actually, there's a couple of different uh, analytics uh, profiles that you can set up. You can do an HTTP, and you can also do a TCP uh, analytics profile. So once you set up those profiles, um, then, or once you're in those profiles, you can create a profile to, uh, to do all these different kinds of things. And so the question is, what are some things that we can look for? What are some things that we can... Uh, that we can configure to start looking at on our big IP. And so the, st the statistics uh, on the analytics profile are broken up into two different uh, categories. Um, one is called uh, uh, metrics, and I'll just do, I'll just write it right here, metrics. And then the other is uh, entities, so entities. Metrics are things like, and I may not list every single one of them, uh, but I'll put, I'll put like page load time, um, things like uh, uh, user sessions, and those types of things. Uh, another one is, uh, is like max transactions per second, max transactions per second, maybe throughput, those kinds of things. So those are, those are some metrics that you can look at. Entities, on the other hand, are going to be things that, that you want to look at, things like URLs maybe. Uh, countries. Did you know that you could uh, con countries? I missed one. Um, countries, uh, maybe like a client IP address. So client IP, uh, things like that. I won't list them all, but there's a whole bunch of entities that you can look at as well. So when you look at all these things, you notice that there's a lot of statistics that you can gather data for um, via these analytics profiles. And so, which by the way, these things, uh, the metrics and the entities are unique to, I'll just I'll draw up here to the HTTP profile. The TCP profile is a little less uh, robust uh, just because you can't do quite as many things with it, uh, but you can still do quite a bit with the TCP profile. So get out there and check it out. Um, so anyway, so now, now that you've set up your profile, you've checked all the different things, so you can check any or all of these to, uh, to collect statistics and metrics on. And so now that you've set all this up, You've checked it all, then you've got your profile loaded. You can associate that with your virtual servers and, and uh, start to collect these metrics. Uh, so that's great that you're collecting these metrics now, but the question is, well, how do I go about looking at these things? How do I go about being notified whenever something happens? Let's say my page load time is way too long. Well, I need to know about that, right? And so you have, a, uh, you have the uh, notification, so I'll put notification over here, notification options. That you can uh, that you can set up as well, and there's a few different types of uh, notification options. So you can do uh, syslog, and that can be an internal or external syslog. Um, you can do you can set up an SNMP trap. 
uh, for an SNMP receiver. Um, you can also do an email. So let's say you uh, have an organizational email or whatever, and you know, hey, whenever my load time goes beyond a certain threshold, sh send me an email and I need to know about it. So then you can, uh, you can know what's going on there. Um, as, far as, the, uh, as far as the syslog goes, uh, again, you can do an internal or external syslog. Uh, one of the really cool things that I'll put in terms of notification is that uh, one of our Dev Central users, he's a superstar out there in F5, uh, Ken Bocchino, he actually wrote an iApp and uh, so I'll just, I'll put this up here, um, an iApp for uh, F5 analytics and the way that it, uh, it the way that it, that it meshes together and, and blends together with Splunk. And so it's really cool that, uh, that now there's an iApp out there that literally you can just go run the iApp and it will set up all this stuff for you. It's already got the preloaded configuration settings uh, for how the F5 analytics engine here um, speaks to Splunk and so you can send all this stuff out to Splunk. So imagine go back here and you got a whole bunch, you don't just have one big IP, you got a whole bunch of big IPs and you got all this analytics happening on every single one of your big IPs. You need like one central collection point uh, to look at all of that stuff and so that's where something like Splunk can come in really really handy for you because uh, you can send each of these big IPs uh, the data or the data from each of these big IPs to a central collection point like Splunk and then you can go into Splunk and you can look at all of that. And so if you run this iApp, then there are some really, really cool charts that can show you, you know, hey, here's some countries that are giving you problems or, you know, a lot of your traffic's coming from this place or these IPs or these URLs or whatever it is. And so these, uh, these graphics on these pages can get really, uh, really pretty impressive. And, and, uh, and it can just show you a lot of really cool stuff about how your web applications are performing. And so, uh, so anyway, so, you, so get out there, and we'll link to that in this video as well, but get out there and uh, check out that iApp, run through it, you know, mess with it, all that stuff. Um, one other thing that I'll, uh, that I'll mention before you can do any of this stuff is you do have to go in uh, and, and resource provision AVR on your big IP before you can do any of this stuff. So I, maybe I should have said that first. Uh, so make sure you go into resource provisioning, provision AVR, and, and then all this stuff will pop up and be available for you. So, uh, so if, you're ha if you happen to be in your local traffic menu on your big IP and you don't see the analytics stuff, it, maybe it's because you don't have AVR provisioned. So, uh, so provision AVR, get out, uh, get out there, set up the profile, select all the different uh, statistics types uh, that you want to collect information on, notify yourself via all these different notification options, run the iApp that Ken Bacchino has already uh, built for you and it's, a, it's an amazing tool. And, uh, and man, just make sure all your web applications are running the way that they need to. And if they don't, then, uh, then you'll know what's going on via the statistics and the, and the notifications. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you picked up a couple of nuggets here on AVR. And um, I appreciate you watching this Lightboard lesson this week. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.